Uh, Nizar called me this morning. He sounded very, very tired. Oh, and today is his day, tw his 23rd day of an open hunger strike. And uh, I pleaded for him to stop his hunger strike and he's refusing. He's uh, going all the way and he reached the bottom line. I mean, he, he's really in a state of despair, total despair. And uh, for him, it's either going to be liberated or he's, one, he's willing to, to die in, uh, in jail. Two days ago, he was really uh, sick. He had to uh, transported to the hospital, and uh, they wanted to put him uh, uh, IV uh, serum, and he refused. Uh, and they wanted him to sign some papers in Iranian, which he also refused because he didn't understand what uh, what he was signing. He went there on an official visit, and this is. I think the first time in history where you have an individual invited officially by a government and detained uh, for no apparent reason, and he has been there for 22 months now. Mm. He made the visit of the president with the, the son of Nizar, went with him, and uh, we explained the situation, and the president is well aware of all the circumstances and all the details, and uh, he promised to help in this case.